度的。其实我的我是没上过一首。bedre kunne stoppe det. Jeg kan sige, at det er en god kant og vinkel. Ja. Ja. Så vidste jeg det heller ikke, altså, jeg kunne ikke finde ud af, hvad fanden jeg havde lavet der. <coughs> ja. Good morning, I'm David Kasperl, and this is Saxo Bank Market Call. Today is the 28th of January. <clears throat> On Friday, we saw the release of Canadian CPI figures. They were somewhat lower than expected, and lending support to the host of central banks in Northern America. Uh, that uh, inflation is actually moderating, and uh, that uh, is also bolstering their case for uh, cutting rates aggressively, as they did, especially in the Fed, with the 75 basis points rate cut last week. And also, uh, going forward at the upcoming meeting at the 30th of January, um, the expectation in the market is that they will cut rates additionally 50 basis points. Um, but that's about the only data being released on Friday. In FX markets, we're seeing uh, the yen going higher, a sign of continued risk aversion. We're also seeing the dollar going slightly higher from Friday's uh, opening. And stocks, um, we saw American stocks uh, down on Friday. We saw European stocks relatively mixed. Asian session was also quite mixed with the uh, ASX up by 5% and Nikkei down this morning by 4%. So that's a rather, um, rather uh, mixed uh, picture. <coughs> Fixed income is uh, going higher, being supported from uh, Friday's uh, opening, um, and uh, so far not really testing the uh, previous highs from, from uh, uh, last week, but uh, we could see a test of the uh, previous highs uh, around uh, today, perhaps uh, later today or tomorrow. <coughs> Commodities, gold near another record high, um, and spot prices at uh, $916 per, uh, per ounce, and uh, crude oil is still tra trading below 90 but uh, in our opinion could uh, also go higher. 
Fears of a U.S. recession have now spread to Japan as the slowing economic activity and dropping foreign demands have led to speculations of also Japan entering a recession. Um, all eyes uh, will be on the Fed uh, with uh, the expected uh, rate cut uh, on uh, the 30th. Um, we saw a 75 basis point rate cut last week and uh, an additional 50 basis points uh, rate cut being priced in or ex uh, expected uh, at the 30th of January. Also, uh, we've seen a talk emerging uh, about this uh, Bernanke put after the uh, uh, talk of uh, the Greenspan put. So basically the idea is that uh, Bernanke will uh, be uh, uh, supporting the markets with uh, uh, rate cuts whenever uh, needed. And this week we'll see a large number of key earnings being released. Expected uh, favor strong, uh, expectations favor strong U.S. Uh, blue chip reports and uh, continued weakness uh, in the financials. I believe I said the ASX was down 5% this morning. That was uh, actually not the case. It was close to uh, this morning, um, but it was uh, down by uh, sorry up by 5% uh, on Friday. Uh, Canada. Uh, today we have the uh, new home uh, sales in the U.S. at 15 o'clock GMT, expected at 645,000. Um, and then later on, but that is uh, tonight, uh, European time at least, Japanese uh, jobless rate expected at 3.9% uh, and job to applicant ratio at 0.99. Uh, also uh, later on tonight we have the overall household spending, large retail sales and retail trade, all expected to come out at negative territory. Uh, reflecting the expectations of Japan actually now also having entered a recession, if they didn't already, uh, uh, if they didn't already uh, have been in one. Um, <clears throat> economic calendar. So in the next couple of days, we have uh, dual goods orders tomorrow, as well as the S and P case Shiller home price index expected at minus 7.1 percent year on year. We have the consumer confidence, and then the uh, FOMC is entering to a two-day meeting. Um, and later on, we have the German and Norwegian retail sales on the 30th of January, as well as the uh, ADP employment uh, report, uh, employment change report, and the GDP figures. First estimates for fourth quarter uh, uh, GDP annualized expected at 1.2 percent, and that is uh, significantly down from the uh, uh, third quarter, um, uh, which was out at 4.9 percent. In the uh, FX markets today, we have a uh, breakout play in euro dollar. Um, we are, are seeing actually some speculation that the Fed will only lower rates by 25 basis points, and that uh, might have prompted the uh, dollar strength. Um, and technically, we uh, le uh, look to sell the break of 146.64 offered stop bid at 146.85, and we're targeting 146.15 in the short term. Uh, then on equities, we uh, are selling per simon a PLC. Uh, the trigger is a PSN traded in London. It has a very, very uh, good, uh, interesting, or significant uh, uh, downsloping uh, channel. Uh, and it actually was uh, just rejected on Friday at the very uh, top of that channel. So it looks like uh, we'll now test the bottom of it. Um, so we are selling. Uh, an entry range around uh, 810 to 830, targeting 700 and keeping a stop loss at 875. Otherwise, we're still pretty negative on uh, equities, um, as we believe that the story with the uh, Societe Generale sell-off, generated sell-off, is a bit overdone. Uh, we uh, think that the markets were uh, quite weak already, and uh, this might have uh, contributed to the sell-off, uh, but uh, now we actually did see a bounce, and um, we believe that we'll continue lower after ha uh, having seen the markets uh, bounce this high from uh, the already low, low levels. Um, on futures, we are positive on uh, uh, both uh, Bunds and U.S. 10 years. We believe we'll see a test of the previous highs from last week, uh, if not today, then tomorrow. And uh, on gold and silver, we believe that uh, we could see uh, another leg higher. Uh, but on gold, we need to see a break. Uh, of a triangle above 9.24 in the uh, in the uh, uh, front contract, which is the uh, GC G8 in the uh, section trader system, and uh, we have a target for that position. If it breaks higher to at uh, 9.35 and a stop below 9.20, or sell the break if we see a break of this uh, triangle um, from the past uh, three or four days, sell the break of 9.13, stop below uh, stop above 9.17 and target 9.07. 
That is it for today, and uh, thank you for joining me here on Saxo Bank Market Call.